we put a phone in every pocket, but we are not Apple or Samsung. We put shoes on the feet of the world, but we are not Nike or Allbirds. We heal and prevent diseases, but we are not BioNTech or Roche. How do we do that? By running the end-to-end -end business processes of our customers, companies all over the world. Because 77% of all business transactions worldwide touch an SAP system. That's not an easy task in a time that is less day-to-day -day and more crisis-to-crisis -crisis business. Rising inflation, labor shortages, disrupted supply chains, and severe macroeconomic volatility. Companies need agility to adapt to today's challenging environment, adopt new business models, and increase automation through intelligent technologies. Ultimately, agility leads to resiliency. When exceptions become the norm, resiliency becomes the objective. And they need sustainability in order to be able to turn the needle and avoid the largest crisis, the climate crisis. And they rely on us to help them to do that. That's why we support all businesses on their way to becoming an intelligent, sustainable enterprise. This is our strategy, which has been consistent for many years. With so many customers putting their trust in us, it's our obligation to provide them with the best possible support for the challenges they face today and to prepare them for the challenges of tomorrow. We connect fragmented processes and data to create end-to-end -end visibility along the entire supply chain. We are automating processes to support workers to get their jobs done and to always be one step ahead. We enable cross-company and cross-industry collaboration. In fact, we are replacing fragmented one-to-one -one connections between companies with intelligent network of networks. With this network of intelligent enterprises, we are able to create a sustainable world. Just as processes extend beyond the four walls of a company, so do emissions. Even worse, they accumulate by a factor 11 along the entire supply chain. That's why we are covering scope one, two, three emissions of the greenhouse gas protocol, meaning all direct and indirect, but also supply chain emissions. We provide the transparency that enables companies to act sustainably. And that goes beyond emissions to a holistic approach towards zero emissions, zero waste, and zero inequalities. Our modular architecture with the business technology platform as its foundation creates the most agile enterprise architecture on the market. So the next generation enterprise software will be intelligent, modular, collaborative, networked, and sustainable. And it's close to the people who create value, run the processes, and solve actual business problems. Yesterday, Jürgen announced our integrated low-code portfolio, SAP Build. Rapid digital transformation is easier said than done for most organizations, given most are already struggling to find enough tech talent. With SAP Build, companies can empower everyone in their organization to be a developer, scale development and free up professional developers for more high value tasks. In the course of the next hour, we will take a comprehensive look at our product portfolio and you'll get to see a firework of innovation. And who better to do that than our chief product officers, Jan, Meg, Muhammad and Ritu. There's no question, each of our applications is powerful on its own but the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. By bringing them all together on our business technology platform, we are able to unleash unparalleled impact. That's what differentiates us from any other solution on the market, the breadth and depth of our integrated portfolio. So I'm happy that our head of intelligent enterprise and cross architecture, Philipp Herzig, will guide you through this keynote. Our business technology platform is our platform for integration, openness, and extensibility to unlock even more business value. I'm proud that some of our dear partners are joining us today on stage. And finally, at SAP, we think that software is cool, but we also believe that what you do with it is even cooler. So I'm looking forward to great demos. With that, let's kick things off in Las Vegas. Please welcome Senior Vice President, Head of Intelligent Enterprise and Cross Architecture, Philip Herzig.
Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the second day of Tech It here in Las Vegas, right here in the room, but of course also online to everybody who is watching. Another exciting day with great innovations is just ahead of us. After yesterday, we heard so many great advancements with our technology, with the business technology platform. Today, as Thomas mentioned, we specifically focus on how our applications all are coming together on the business technology platform and how the business technology platform helps with amazing business outcomes. At SAP, we believe integration is the foundation for insightful end-to-end -end business processes. This is why we not only have accelerated our integration efforts, but we are really excited to share some major advancements also with you today. And we have now integrated along our end-to-end -end business processes, recruit to retire, source to pay, design to operate, and lead to cash, our applications end-to-end. -end. Processes like recruit to retire yeah, that are starting with planning your workforce, hiring, onboarding them, and then for sure paying your employees are now fully integrated end-to-end. -end. They are ready for adoption. Of course, also with the business technology platform underneath. We always publish these updates in the integration strategy paper. Where do you find this information? For sure, all on the API Business Hub. The API Business Hub is the central place to discover all the integration assets that are necessary to actually make that happen. And as already said yesterday, we have now published more than 23 business processes, 11 for the cloud, and we also heard you, four on-premise as well as private cloud hybrid deployments, 12 more in the API Business Hub for you to have a look. 3,400 APIs are covering 90% of all our application APIs already today so that you can build your extensions on top. And discovering also integrations has actually never been easier. Just if you want to look, for example, of an integration between s Public Cloud and SuccessFactors, it's actually just two clicks to find the assets you need to make the integration happen. And if something might be missing, you can give feedback via the feedback channel so that you can also influence our backlogs and give us the feedback for an API or an integration flow that might be still missing. We are not only focusing on the functional integration for the business processes. We are also focusing on what we call the sweet qualities like seamless user experience. Let's, for example, get started with identity and access management. I'm really thrilled to announce that all our major applications have now adopted the industry standard SKIM, a standard that user identity provisioning can be done in an equal fashion across all those applications. To standardize even more, we have introduced the so-called user, the unique user ID into all applications so that they can speak for single sign-on, for example, out of the box with each other. And the beauty of all of that is it works with any identity management system in the world that you may have deployed in your IT architecture and landscape today already. Next, one domain model. One domain model is the attempt to make our integrations even simpler. Before one domain model, your usual enterprise architecture in-house would look something like this. Lots of point-to-point -point connections, lots of mappings. You need a really sophisticated middleware in between to make all the mappings necessary because the applications are not speaking the same language. One domain model massively simplifies that. One domain model actually is there so that the applications talk the same language, so that a cost center or an employee is actually understood out of the box. As a result out of that, we can actually massively simplify the middleware in between because no mappings are necessary. We can uh, use integrations now from the BTP, like the master data integration service, for example, to massively simplify that. And this is not just theory. We have now shipped already in the products 40 of such one domain models already with our applications. Recruit to retire, for example, hire to retire, for example, between S4HANA Public Cloud and Success Factors is fully aligned on the business configuration and the master data now based on one domain model to make that really simple. But we are not stopping there. We have now more than 300 objects already aligned in SAP and integrating them now step by step into our applications. And while we started with the one domain model in the cloud, we have also expanded its scope because for sure every one of us has on-premise uh, on systems still there or private cloud deployments. So we expanded the scope of the one domain model also to hybrid and existing landscapes so that you can start to adopt the one domain model incrementally in your existing landscapes as well. 
Lastly, let's talk about Task Center. Task Center is our one inbox we released last year to manage all your approval workflows from a single place in your IT architecture as well. And we make approvals and tasks really, really simple and more comprehensive every day. As of today, I'm really excited to tell that already 90 workflows all across the intelligence suite are meanwhile supported. Sales order approvals, invoice approvals, travel approvals, and way, way more that are all now integrated through the one inbox from a single place. But it's not only about the workflow. We are also strive to make the integration and the user experience really, really simple. This is why we, for example, will release still this year, end of this year, uh, to provide the task center on lock screen on your smartphone. I show you that, how that would look. That is a recent picture I took two weeks ago on my vacation with my two little ones on the beautiful island of Sicily, looking, my kids looking over the, 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 from the Mount Etna, actually. And I use TripIt as a widget on my smartphone to always keep up to date with my travel plans. But now I, can be, I will be able to also add my to-dos, the one inbox with all those workflows, directly on my lock screen so that I will not miss any approval anymore. And sometimes, yes, I also do approvals uh, while being on vacation, so don't tell anyone. And we will also release a version for wearables starting with Apple Watch early next year as well, so that you can, with ease, approve all your, appro uh, all your workflows directly from your wrist wherever you are. I think it's really great, and I hope you love it. Now, Task Center is only one of many central services that are offered by the business technology platform to bring our portfolio closer together. Another central service that we have created is, or that you often demanded, and that we are now shipping, and we're really thrilled to show it to you, is a central entry point for all of SAP's business applications, no matter of s Success SuccessFactors, FieldGlass. And therefore, we are thrilled to show this to you today and to tell you more about it. Here is Meg Beer, President and Chief Product Officer of SuccessFactors, to tell you all about it. So a warm welcome for Meg. Thanks, Philip. At Success Factors, we believe that people put the intelligence in an intelligent enterprise. We make it our mission to value every person every day and change work for good. Innovations like Task Center are not just about technology. They're about making my work more efficient and valuing my most important resource, my time. Human experience management is the foundation for developing the skills of the future. You have to know who someone is to deliver an individualized user experience. The more the system understands who I am, the better it can recommend valuable opportunities for me to grow. We call the data that creates this intelligence the whole self model, a framework that understands not just my skills, but my experiences and my strengths. As Thomas mentioned, agility and resilience are critical to navigating the changes that face us today. At Success Factors, we understand that when you create a culture of belonging, provide access and opportunity for growth, and engage every person to contribute, you create a sustainable environment helpful to both individuals and organizations. In 2021, we launched our new homepage based on significant user research. We also introduced our SAP Success Factors work zone, leveraging the power of the business technology platform to deliver dynamic experiences for HR service delivery. Our customers have leveraged work zone to create personalized guided experiences for things like family leave, health and safety, vaccine management, and learning experiences, to name a few. Today, I'm excited to share the evolution of those innovations that don't just benefit SuccessFactors customers, but the broader SAP portfolio. With SAP Start, a central entry point for all SAP solutions and beyond, and Build Work Zone for low-code and no-code extensions. To do that, I'd like to introduce my colleague, AZ, to walk us through these exciting new innovations. Thank you so much, Meg. Hi, everyone. 
Amazit, sales manager at protego.com, world's number one manufacturer for sports goods for children. Well, if you can't already tell, this is my first day at this job. I'm very overwhelmed with all those to-dos piling up on my desk and so many questions on my mind. But let me tell you a secret. I found a new friend, a digital friend called SAP Start. SAP Start is out of the box, one-stop shop, um, real time, so many giving me information from all SAP systems, across, across all SAP landscapes. That's what they told me. But my friends, between us, I don't really care about systems and landscapes. But what I do love about SAP Start is it gives me all the information intuitively to get things done. Just like seeing all my to-dos right here powered by SAP Task Center. I can even do things like completing my employee profile. So let's click on that and do it. SAP success factors, that sounds nice. Now, this is where I can go in and update my employee profile and add missing information as well. And look, I can even go in and add my pronouns. Isn't that exciting? So my colleagues know how to address me. Let's just save that and done. In addition to that, if I don't know what I need to do in terms of can't find that on these tiles here under the to-dos, I can always start searching and take help from my friend here. So things like a uh, view org chart. Let's get familiarized with my team and boom. This is where I can see all my team members and looks like I have an amazing team. But let's get back to work. I have so many other to-dos to complete. I can also see all the travel and purchase requests under the to-do section. Things like Bobby wants to travel to SAP Tech Ed. Um, that sounds like a fun trip more than a business trip. So let's just decline that. I'm joking. I'm not going to make enemies on the first day of my job. But wait, I just met Bobby. This is Tech Ed. It's happening. I think Bobby paid for himself. But to keep him out of trouble, let's just approve this. And there you go, that easy. I can always stay on top of my, the performance of my sales team as well. So I can see all the sales insights, everything in the pipeline, so many deals happening right now. And wow, so many close deals already. Well, I have the best sales team in the world. One thing I really want to do is send Jackie from HR a thank you. She not just helped me with all the onboarding journey, but also moving. So again, like so many times in the day to day, I don't know how to do that. So what I can do is just take help from my friend again. So let's start typing. Award for Jackie from HR. Let's see my friend here has to say. So it recognizes Jackie, and yes, that's Jackie Miller from HR. That's who I want to award. It's, is it the correct person? Yes. How do you want to award her? One million dollars, two million dollars. Wait, what? Well, looks like our ID department has bought the humorous edition of SAP, but this is Q4, so I will just send her a thank you award. And it was that easy. Perfect. Everything done. Now, what if I don't see um, what I need to do on the screen in, for, in form of a tile, to-do, or even in the search bar? Then that's the time I can take help from my coder guru friend here, Marika. Marika, would you like to help me, please? Sure, Isaac. I can help you out. So we recently licensed SAP Build Workzone in our company. And with that, I can easily adjust your page and the page of all our sales managers. I do, do not need any code, and I save a lot of time for more complex development tasks. Check this out. I already upgraded our page, and it looks just like SAP Start, only that I have the navigation bar on top and the page editor on the right. Let's edit this page. Cool, isn't that nice? I can play around with the, with the layout. I can add new sections. I can split those sections into multiple, and I can add custom content. So let's add a bit of content. So you can see that I can choose from a variety of widgets, 
And I'm a fan of the cards because they are visual representations of applications. Um, and I heard that you sales guys have something to do with products, so maybe you recommended products, sounds good for you. If you don't like it, it's super easy, you can change it later on for yourself. You said you want more answers, so let's add the knowledge base, and I guess we have something for sales. Yeah, sales enablement sounds perfect. Save, publish, et voila, that's it. That was so easy and fast again. Wow, Marika, thank you so much. And now I have a new box here which shows me whatever it shows, but that's very cool. Um, that is why I'm in love with my new job at Protego.com. And due to my best friend, digital friend, SAP Start and SAP Build Work Zone. So thank you. Over to you, Meg. Thanks, Azad and Marika. SAP Start is in beta now and will release to GA the first half of 2023. <clears throat> it is fantastic for the web, but of course, also we offer a mobile version. SAP Mobile Start provides important elements of this experience natively. Native notifications, native business KPIs surfaced as widgets, embedded on your phone search with digital voice as well. And finally, we have Android as a native app as well for mobile start. A lot of you have been asking for Android. We're excited to see all the capabilities of SAP come together in a rich and modern user experience to develop on the promise of the intelligent enterprise. As Philip said, integration is the foundation for everything, and the intelligent enterprise and our business technology platform enable every solution at SAP to sing together on key. To tell you more about that, help me welcome my good friend, Mohammed Alam, President and Chief Product Officer of the Intelligent Spend and Business Network. Thank you, Meg. As already mentioned by Thomas Arzag earlier today, we are facing an ever-growing number of challenges and unforeseeable disruptions, day in, day out. And many are already considering this to be the new normal. On the talent front, there's clearly a struggle to hire and retain the best talent to deliver on your customer promises. To manage these never-ending disruptions on the supply chain side, what companies need today is an intelligent, configurable and easy to use set of procurement applications to manage their suppliers, their spend, and in turn, making their supply chains more resilient. On top of that, modern procurement is no longer about price and policy today. Today, companies expect us to provide an intelligent, predictable, and personalized experience to their end users, reducing manual efforts to a minimum, and all of that based on a sustainability-first mindset. At SAP, we are calling these new capabilities Buying 360, as we highlighted at our recent Spend Connect live event. But as actions speak louder than words, let's take a look at Buying 360 in action. Philip, back to you again. Thank you so much, Muhammad. And as we have a few minutes here on stage, let's work on a surprise for my team. Before we took actually off to Las Vegas, they asked me for new laptops. And with Buying360, this is actually as easy as saying, hey Siri, I need some new laptops. And it brings me up this beautiful new Buying360 experience, a native application has already curated content uh, in here, so we, Home Office Essentials, that looks pretty good. And that looks like a neat package for my team. The MacBook Pro here actually looks quite, quite nice. I can scroll down here a bit. Even sustainability information is included. So if I, for example, see the carbon footprint or the packaging. And I also get, for example, a 3D augmented reality view that I can use to see how that product directly would look here. Look how this laptop looks amazing here on stage. Looks even more amazing together with all of you. Can you shake some hands? It's real and no fake. Yeah, yeah, that looks amazing. So that is a beautiful product, I think, for my team. So let's add a few to the cart here, five pieces. And let's check out this, submit the purchase requisition, and see what's going to happen. Back to you, Mohammed. Thank you, Philip. Now, what we've seen in this short demo is how we at SAP 
are making corporate shopping fun again. Could you see the smile on Philip's face when he was ordering the MacBooks for the team? It was clearly because of the buying 360 experience and not because of those beautiful, brand new, and extremely powerful devices. So now the order is in place and Philip can hardly wait to get those gadgets in his hands. But for this to come true, as you all know, a couple of next steps need to happen. To make sure that Philip gets what he needs, when he needs it, the MacBooks need to be manufactured, packaged, and shipped. The good news is, with SAP's Buying 360, Philips will always have a real-time view into what the status of the order is. Across companies, across suppliers, logistics providers, and every other party involved in making this happen for Philip. So how are we able to provide insights like this to you? By bringing all parties together in one place through our unique SAP business network. It is a trusted community of millions of companies across 190 countries intelligently supporting your spend processes end to end from direct to indirect procurement, from services to contingent labor and travel and expense. And as there's no one size fits all when it comes to your individual unique needs and processes, we have invested a lot into an open architecture which seamlessly allows you to build your last mile capabilities in the application. We have 11 end-to-end -end scenarios in place that you can use out of the box. We have more than 450 APIs at hand to connect to other applications and to extend your processes as per your requirements. With harmonized master data, lowering integration costs, and all of that with a new user experience. You can imagine the joy Buying360 will bring to your employees. Some of these capabilities are actually already starting to show up today in your guided buying experience. And over time, guided buying will evolve to Buying360 without creating any technology disruption for you. Now, Philip, since you've already, have you already received the new MacBooks? Uh, nope, well, not, not yet, but while we are still waiting for the delivery, uh, let me actually ask the customer voice on what Muhammad just said to see whether that aligns. So I'd like to actually invite a very special guest here on the screen, Christian Stocksreiter, Head of Business Applications at Red Bull, to tell you more on what they do with source to pay and the benefits that Muhammad just explained. At the moment, we at Red Bull are transforming our supply chain from a very, very centralized production in Western Austria and in Switzerland to a more decentralized approach in other countries like the United States. The decentralization for our CAN production is strongly supported by our centralized SAP system landscape. We use SAP S4, integrated business planning, transportation management, enterprise warehouse management to further digitalize our Red Bull supply chain. In addition to that, to that mentioned tools, we have decided to implement SAP Ariba and Assertis to boost our sourcing and purchasing processes with the right technology. We will manage the whole supply and contract lifecycle with the two tools, Ariba and Assertis. And our goal is to streamline and standardize all our processes in that area more and more. We have to integrate for sure the new tools into the ERP landscape, into BI, into global trade services, and so on to deliver a very good end-to-end -end process integration and a better user experience. All the best now here from the Red Bull headquarters in Austria to the SAP TechEd crowd. Have fun there. Cheers. This is my new friend, it's called Mark. He's, uh, he's, it looks like finally the five MacBooks have appeared right here on stage. And I'd like to show you actually a new solution. This is a Locus uh, robot, a multi-bot solution that is already supported by many, uh, for many customers deployed worldwide uh, to actually streamline warehouse operations. And our extended warehouse management, for example, fully integrates with robots like these to streamline warehouse operations in the digital supply chain. But to show you one more innovation on top of that, and let's see, let's update the cables. 
Well, it's not long enough. I have to, oh, no, now it works. So it's, okay, it's a little smoother. Very good. So we actually now would like to scan this, whether the order is correct or what has been delivered, right? What I'm going to use is a new uh, application we introduced earlier this year called SAP Warehouse Operator. And it uses, again, the extreme powerful capabilities of these devices. So I have already selected Mark here as my resource, and I'm going to do a picking process in the, in the warehouse. So I start the picking. And also to show you how blazingly fast this is, right? So here you are, right? Hi, Jürgen. Hi, everyone else. Let's scan this and see with ma done. Have you seen this? Yeah. This is matrix scan. This, we call it matrix scan. Look here, again. Oh, this was fast. Can we, we have good light conditions. Can we make the light a little bit lower to really make this a little bit more challenging? Boom, same thing, right? Because in the warehouse, sometimes things are more complicated. And that's really the power of mobile devices and the mobile applications that SAP can actually bring to streamline business processes. Customers, are, well, before I come to this one here, then the robot back, you did a great job. Thank you so much. Well, well over the hill. We see him later again, maybe. Um, these devices are so powerful. Look, customers today in a warehouse deploy things like these large scanning tunnels, right, equipped with a lot of cameras to unload trucks and so on. But we believe we can do this from the mobile devices directly because it's so powerful. It can scan all those barcodes just at once based on AI and based on these extremely powerful cameras today. So this is SAP Warehouse Operator, and you have seen a couple of other applications during this demo. You saw the SAP Ariba shopping application. You saw the SAP start application. But there's way more. And that's our all new user experience. User experience continues to be one of our key priorities in SAP. And we are building one delightful product family. Over the next couple of months, all SAP's mobile application will come with an all new product experience, including product icons that align with the visual look and feel of SAP. And it's all based on our all new design language called SAP Fiori Horizon. Fiori Horizon has been designed to make all SAP applications intuitive to use, more accessible, and more inclusive than ever before in a business application. Fiori Horizon introduces a contemporary, friendly, and bold new design language with new fonts, vibrant new colors, and softer shapes. And what's more, it comes with improved contrast ratios, dynamic font scaling, and much more to support also assistive devices way better. And actually, today, we're very happy that many of our applications have already adopted it, both mobile applications, but also our Fiori web-based application. We also introduced new visual design themes, for example, with morning and evening horizon, so that the theme actually adopts based on the time uh, of, or the settings of your device, depending where you are. We are also introducing new theming options, because we believe the SAP design looks great, but tailoring it to your unique brand, to your, what makes you really unique with your company, is even more exciting. Look how amazing our applications look for Adidas, for example, or for Red Bull, or for machinery maker Class. SAP's design system and also all its software development kits are enterprise ready out of the box and provide crucial key qualities. They are animated, adaptive, consistent, and for sure also update proof. Why am I telling you all of this? Because that's great for SAP applications, but also we want to give it into the hands of our very powerful developers with our powerful SDKs. So you can now do that too. We updated all our SDKs with what I just told you. The SDK for Android, the SDK for iOS, our low-code, no-code mobile development kit, and of course, all our web-based technologies such as SAP UI5, UI5 web components, and our cascading style sheet library 
Fiori fundamentals. And to make it even easier for your developers to adopt it, we have also made, have done a complete remake of our very popular Fiori Mentor app. The Fiori Mentor app allows you, it's an interactive playground for designers and developers to discover Fiori in an interactive fashion. It offers more than 124 out-of-the-box UI components that you can readily use. It's an entire design system that is baked into one app where you can explore all design components from that single place. By adjusting component settings within the app, the behavior, interaction, and features of components can be previewed live and adjusted in real time. And then, to bridge the gap between designers, user researchers, and developers, you can easily export what you just saw in the app as code into your preferred integrated development environment to make your life even easier. I hope your developers and we developers love the all new Subfiori Mentor app to make it really simple to create enterprise applications for the workspace. Now, again, it's not just mobile. We have also applied this all new user experience to SAP S4 HANA. It comes with an all new homepage and all our procurement sales applications look just fantastic. And by the way, when we're already talking about S4 HANA, S4 HANA innovates like no other solution in the industry. To tell you more about it, here's Jan Gilk, president of SAP S4 HANA. Welcome to Tech at Las Vegas, also from the SAP S4 HANA cloud team. There's a lot of great news from a technology perspective in SAP S4 HANA Cloud that I would like to share with you. With SAP S4 HANA Cloud, we have created the most complete SaaS ERP solution available today. It is the center of our modular cloud ERP strategy, leveraging ABAP and the business technology platform alike. And we see adoption by customers large and small around the world and across all industries. Analysts have recognized the capabilities and the value that SAP S4 HANA Cloud brings to our customers. Just in the last few months, Gartner, Forrester, and IDC have all ranked us as leaders in their respective reports. We continue to deliver core ERP innovation along end-to-end -end processes and our innovation themes like sustainability, subscription economy, synchronized planning, the digital threat, autonomous finance, or outcome-based services. We do that in a continuous and non-disruptive way, maximizing our customers' business outcome. We continue to focus also on the SaaS foundation by increasing our localization scope and openness with more than 650 publicly available APIs to support customer and partner extensions. We also work on improved enterprise readiness, and in my mind, our three-system landscape approach is unmatched in the industry, receiving great feedback from our customers and early adoption. Last but not least, we've been working closely with strategic partners to accommodate the new work realities of the end users. Philip here will show you some pretty cool stuff there. And that was just a very quick teaser for some of the amazing innovations we deliver with SAP S4 HANA Cloud. Now let me hand it back to Philip to show you some of those innovations firsthand and live. Thank you so much, Jan. And it's really exciting times for S4HANA Public Cloud, I have to say. And let's talk about a topic in S4HANA that is important to all of us, extensibility. From its very start in the public cloud, SAP S4HANA comes with amazing low-code, no-code, in-app extension capabilities. It was, it was already since years very easy to adapt the UI, change descriptions you find in the standard applications. You can add easily uh, via drag and drop some custom fields that you may have created, drag and drop them around on the UI to, to fit it to where it should belong. You can remove entire sections if you don't like certain sections or information that are displayed. Uh, you can remove those things temporarily. While this is all great and very productive, something was also clearly missing. Really, the ability to write your own custom code directly within S4HANA. To really serve the most complex business needs. Things like a debugger, refactoring support, our trusted environment with ABAP and Eclipse, and of course, developing jointly together in a team on a complex business problem. This is why we are excited that we are also, in addition to the low-code, no-code capabilities available today inside SAP S4 HANA, we are also bringing pro-code with ABAP Cloud and the ABAP environment directly into SAP S4 HANA. And it looks something like this.
as you just see, we are embedding the full power of the ABAP cloud environment directly into SAP S4 HANA so that you can write in-app extensions like never before. And you should really expose your developers to this because we are really, Marika? I'm sorry, Phil, but this is really urgent. Yes, but I, I, I have to, to help out I wanted left to give a little talk to here. our dear guests. What, what's wrong? Y you remember I said the sales guy from before? His sales orders are stuck in delivery. Uh, yeah, but he told me that he has the best sales team in the world. What's the problem? Yeah, it's not their fault. You know, there's global supply chain issues and so on. Okay. How uh, do you think you can fix it? <laughs> you just said it yourself with ABAP Cloud. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So we want to make up for the delay. If important customers who bought a lot of stuff from us this year have a delay in their sales orders, we want to make sure that they can get something nice for free, a Goodwill item. And I'm developing an ABAP Cloud extension for this. Let me show you. So I created this card, and on this card, our sales agents can quickly see when they have sales orders that are eligible for a Goodwill item. From here, they can easily jump off into S4 HANA. And now to my extension. If I go into one of those sales orders, can you spot what I have changed? Probably not right away, because I extended the business process directly in Stack, and it seamlessly integrates into the SAP delivered UI. So I added this custom button, the Goodwill, or not button, field, the Goodwill item status, which is currently set to, to be reviewed. I didn't add any items yet, so if I add an item, or if I want to add an item, I can go here and select an item from this list. This list is only meant for B customers, and in the background you can see that this is a B customer. Let me quickly check that this also works for A customers. So this is an A customer, and I expect that I have different items that are a bit more valuable. If I were to give away an item, I would probably pick the fluffy unicorn because it's cute. Um, let me check, and this will, will it work, will it not work? <laughs> it did not work because I did not implement it yet. Okay, let me do that now. Um, I want to switch to my IDE. Uh, by the way, I love working with Eclipse. I created this other cloud project and connected it to my S4 HANA public cloud system. Now I can write custom ABAP code directly in S4 HANA public cloud. I can debug, refactor my code, everything directly in the system. This is really nice. Okay, but let's get back to topic. I have this package which I created, and now in order to add items to a sales order, I'm extending the SAP delivered sales order API, the I sales order TP. I added a custom action, the add goodwill item action, and a custom field, the goodwill item status. So that's the field that we saw before in the UI. Let's go to the implementation of add goodwill item. So this is where I left off when Philip interrupted me. Um, so let me just quickly implement this. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm modifying the given sales order, so the sales order that was selected in the UI, not the sales order API. I'm creating a new item, and this item has these three parameters or properties. The product, which is the selected goodwill item, the requested quantity, which is one, and the sales order item category, which is CBLN, which stands for free of expense item, obviously. Okay, uh, then I also map a few of these pr uh, response parameters. And what I should not forget to do is also update the custom field that I added, right? So here I'm updating the field, the goodwill item status, and I'm setting it to granted. Okay, but before we take a look at this in action, I actually wanted to do one more thing. When customers, or not my users, create goodwill items, they have to pass a, a product ID and they can basically enter whatever they want. And I want to ensure that what they entered is actually a product in our system. Let me check this. So I prepared this method, check product exists, and now that I look at the name, I think I implemented this in an old project in R3. Let me check my ZAP GUI, my SE80. I knew it. This is exactly the code that I'm looking for. Let me just copy paste that, and here we go. Ooh, that doesn't work. Let me check. Use of table Mara is not permitted. Uh, maybe I'll just navigate into that. Okay, this is meant for system internal use only. 
And we are now building an upgrade safe extension, so I don't want to use anything system internal, right? There are other successes, though. Um, the iProduct, for example, which I have already used in a different project as well. Um, so I know that this is the right replacement. So I'll use that. And I happen to know that the ID of the product is called product in this view. Save, activate, and now let's get back to the UI. Okay, we wanted to add a Goodwill item, so I'll do that again. Choose the fluffy unicorn, and ta-da, it worked. So what do we see here? Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so what we see here, I changed the Goodwill item status to granted. Um, there are new items, so we have a fluffy unicorn, one piece, free of charge, CBLN obviously, and zero dollars net value. Oh, what's that? Hello, Mr. Robots. What do you have for me? Oh. It already arrived. Thank you, Robots. Cool. I think Isaac will be super happy with that. Um, and I guess, uh, I mean, maybe, Philip, if you want, you can continue with whatever you were doing. If I'm allowed to? Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Give it up for Marika. Great demo with our cloud. Really, really powerful. Great job, Marika. Thank you so much. Now, as Jürgen already said yesterday, the Esra, uh, ABAP cloud is generally available in the public cloud since August. And the great thing about this is it comes actually at no addition. We are introducing an additional development tenant so that you can do your development work in a dedicated system or tenant. And this additional tenant comes at no extra charge compared to the previous two system landscape that only had a queue and a productive tenant. So you can really do the development, and the, why we can do this? Because of the massive TCO and scalability improvements, because public cloud is really a true SaaS product, and this will be also share amongst everyone, and this is why we can give this at no extra charge with an additional development tenant. We are also proud to support the transformation from, uh, from on-premise or the private cloud, also introduced that in the latest version of Esfahana on-premise as well, to help with the transition towards a clean core, as you have just seen with the Mara example, where you can uh, move and refactor existing code into new code, compatible and upgrade safe. Next, after our cloud, let's talk about collaboration. When we talk about s hana it's all about making your business more productive and gaining more business insights than ever before. Collaboration is obviously a key element to get work done. That's why we believe at SAP the information should not only be shared in real time in the system, but also across people, departments, and entire organization. Therefore, we are very excited about the new collaboration capabilities also inside s hana Public Cloud. Already earlier this year, we have been delivering new integration scenarios together with Microsoft Teams. Now, as you can see here on the screen, it is actually very simple from any Fiori application, based on what you just discovered or see, you can, with two clicks, share this directly in Microsoft Teams as a link, and you get a semantic link also back so that whoever clicks on the link can see that immediately. You can also share from any Fiori application in S4HANA what you just see directly as a tab inside your Microsoft Teams channels so that you can also look at this in the context of your project and your team and so on so that everybody is always on the same page. With Microsoft Teams, we took a great step forward and there's many, many more things that will come, but many customers also ask us, can there be an integration with Google Workspace too? Therefore, we're excited to also share that with the latest release, we have the first productive integration available between SAP s hana and Google Workspace. To tell you more about that, I actually would like to welcome a very special guest right here on stage. He is the Vice President of Engineering at Google Workspace and Collaboration Products. And let me invite Jim Giles here on stage to talk a little bit more about this exciting new integration. Let me welcome Jim from Google. Hey Jim, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. So glad to be here. Thank you so much. We are really excited to have you here and we're really excited about the partnership between SAP and Google. And the integration of Google Workspace together with SAP s was an often requested feature by customers. Fast growing companies like Get Your Guide, Sono Motors, or Finn have just recently at an event told me how happy they are and how eager they are to just uh, get their fingers dirty with that. From your perspective, Jim, tell me, why do you believe is the integration of ERP capabilities very closely with Google Workspace so essential? 
yeah, we know that customers have deep investments in their line of business solutions. And we also know that productivity tools like Google Workspace are made much more powerful with integrations that streamline everyday tasks. Enabling customers to bring their core business data into uh, Google Workspace and share and collaborate on that data has huge benefits in the hybrid world where efficiency, security, and productivity are key drivers of enterprise success. Um, this integration actually brings together the most critical business systems with tools that are transforming the way that work gets done. So an example, financial teams who need to do analysis and spreadsheets now can seamlessly work between Google Sheets and S4 HANA uh, without having to toggle back and forth between different applications and tabs. Absolutely, that is spot on. And uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the integration while well, we also show this to you a little bit here in the background? Yeah, so Google Workspace was built in the cloud and for the cloud, and that cloud-first design really shines through in our real-time collaboration. Documents can be shared, edited, and securely stored with anyone, anywhere, at any time. This integration builds on Google Workspace APIs to bring that same real-time collaboration to S4 HANA users. We can now bring that enterprise data into the applications that use, use every day. So, for example, we can do real-time commenting, collaboration, and editing uh, from SAP data directly without having the confusion and the risk associated with checking in and checking out files to be able to modify them. SAP users can bring, uh, can access workspace applications directly from within uh, the S SAP S4 HANA public cloud, and now there's no longer having to go get files from emails, drives, trying to download it, edit it, and manually upload it to ERP, it's all now done seamlessly. Very, very good. And I think what is most important is not as only going to Workspace and be edited collaboratively, but it's also back in the SAP system, as we just saw on the screen, so that's tightly in, in, in the life cycle with the business objects. Can you share a glimpse on the opportunities ahead, Jim? Yeah, customers are asking for much more. They really want to bring these collaborative, collaborative experiences directly into their daily business processes and workflows. And so we're investing in jo more joint, uh, uh, joint solutions, um, you know, specifically around SAP uh, S4 HANA public cloud. Um, one of the things we're working on right now is we're working on the ability to edit workspace documents directly in S4 HANA. And we can imagine all sorts of different integrations, like for example, bringing, being able to bring Google Chat into SAP workflows. So we're really excited to see what uh, the future holds, excited about the momentum and our continued partnership. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jim. A warm round of applause for, for Jim. Give it up. And then thank you so much for being here, excited about the partnership. Really looking forward. Thank, thank you, so you so much, much. Jim. It is really great to see how we can boost productivity and collaboration uh, throughout the system. But one question that is always, top of, uh, always also on top of our mind is, how does this help your customers, too? To tell you more about this, let me invite Ritu Bhargava, Chief Product Officer and President of Customer Experience, right here on stage, to show how we bring the front office and the back office together into one office. Thank you, Philip. Thank you. Wow. This is so cool. I'm at my first decade, and that too with a live audience. I started my career as an SAP developer, and being on this stage is just so huge. It's huge. It almost feels like I'm in a World of Warcraft game where I <laughs> earn some experience points and up-level myself. But what has truly up-leveled SAP's game is you all, our developer community. So thank you so much for all the innovation that you bring to SAP and to, uh, and to our systems. So now, this year has been a big year for CX. We have delivered a bunch of innovation, and I want to tell you more about it. But before that, the CRM market has evolved. It has, ha it has evolved from focusing on business processes to being more about personalized engagements. And CX, which is CRM and DX, has evolved even more. It has become more about omnichannel experiences. And companies and customers like you are being asked to do more with less and it's getting harder and harder. And you're being asked to break silos, be technical or process or even organizational. And that is why I believe that our solutions need to be composable and they need to fit into the ecosystem of your customer's choice. 
as a technologist, I firmly, firmly believe that you need to make your strengths your superpowers. And one of SAP's superpower, superpower, it's its back office. So if we, can, if we can take that superpower back office and connect it to our front office, which is customer experience, we at SAP will have an unparalleled one office. And I believe only SAP, only SAP has the unique opportunity to have that one office experience that connects the back office to the front office. And that is the promise of SAP CX. With data that is the fuel that powers this experience, we, we can provide a unified customer profile and a 360 view of our customers. And it is built on an amazing business technology platform with low-code, no-code capabilities connected with the powerful back office data that I just talked about and digital supply chain. And it has native integration to the industry cloud. Now, let me, tell, uh, let me show you a demo because you know, I don't need to be talking all the time. Uh, Sven is going to take it home and show you a little demo. Cool. Thank you so much, Rito. So my name is Sven, and I run service operations at Hang Lewis Limited. Yes, this is about surfing. So we sell the coolest surf gear that's out there, period. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but surfing is actually a really big business, and it's also really big business for us. So we get a lot of service calls every single day. And of course, we've chosen SAP Service Cloud for this, to handle all that volume. Behind me on the screen, you actually see my favorite part of the service cloud. That's the manager's corner. So let me navigate you around a little bit here. At the top, you see actually KPIs that are coming from SAP Analytics Cloud. That's amazing. All the hard facts, all the numbers are here. A bit to the bottom, you see softer data from Qualtrics, like the feedback, for example. And this screen really helps me to get the day started and also keeps me updated during the day. Now, over here on the right, you see customer satisfaction. It's already quite good, but I think there are also areas we can clearly improve on. Now, to actually show you what we can do, let me first show you the agent desktop. It's a beautiful screen. So our agents on the left-hand side here, they get all the details about a customer. In the center, they get the timeline and also the history. And then on the right-hand side, they get the interaction log of the current call. This is beautiful. Now, what's even best about Service Cloud, about the new SAP Service Cloud, is we can now create S4 service orders directly here in SAP Service Cloud. Previously, we had to switch context. We had to switch the systems and log in again, for example. Now this is one seamless experience. And that's exactly what Richard just talked about. That's the front office and the back office together. This is SAP One Office in action. So everything can be improved, right? One of my agents actually told me that the height of data density on the screen is actually quite high. There's a lot of fields, right? And also, I'm wondering if you could actually streamline the whole process here. So I'm pretty sure we can do that. And initially, I actually reached out to Marika. But you know, Marika told me, sorry, Sven, I can't do it because I have to prep a TechEd demo. Bummer. You have to do it yourself. So I was still doing this with SAP Build Apps. And here you can see how I was able to turn this into a beautiful multi-step wizard. First, we actually pull the products from SAP Service Cloud, and our agents can just select the right product. So easy. Then they will add some services and parts info, and we also have the service order info, of course, rounded up with some email information and confirmation. And now look at this here. I can actually select this next button here. And down here in the logic builder, I can just drag a component out and then just go from the first step to the next step with this easy element here. It's so easy. I absolutely love this experience. Cool. So I think you probably want to see how this looks like in Service Cloud, right? So let's switch, switch back to the service cloud. And I will click here on the Create menu. And of course, you see our new wizard shows up. And we have the service order lean. And it just integrates beautifully also into SAP Service Cloud. Our agents will absolutely love it. It's easy to use, streamlined, and definitely less error prone. Cool. So now. Our agents are actually saving a couple of valuable seconds with each service interaction. And this really adds up over the day. It reduces the waiting times in our call center. And you know, that's really the big difference that we make in the end. That's what sets us apart from the competition. That is a just simply better customer experience. 
Thank you so much for your attention. Back to you, Ritu. Wasn't that just fantastic? I love you, Sven. So what you saw today is the new powerful service cloud. It is the most intelligent service cloud that exists because it is based on the most modern API-first microservices platform that is available in, the, available in the industry today. And I can tell you that there is, this is not the beginning or the end of what you'll see from CX this year. So now, let's bring back uh, Meg and Philip to take it home. Thank you so much, Rito. Thank you so much to all of our guests and presenters that joined us on stage today. We have so many incredible technology innovations for us developers baked into our applications, we bring the application portfolio closer together. So we have seen our significant progress on integration, supercharged by the one domain model, the global user ID, or for example, SAP Task Center, as well as dozens of new APIs and reference architectures along our end-to-end -end business processes. And don't forget SAP Start, our all new entry point for all our business applications and beyond. And of course, also ABAP Cloud to create in-app extensions inside S4HANA like never before, and so much more. One thing is very clear for us, with SAP, the sum is bigger than its parts, but what makes it even bigger is the people that make it happen together with all of you. So let me get all the presenters back on stage for a last round of applause. And thank you so much. Enjoy your second day of TechEd. Uh, take care, have a great event, have safe travels home, and see you next time. We're gonna stick around. Thank you so much, and Bye. talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Good job, man. The robot guy.